I'll be on some other shit It's kinda bittersweet that I fell in love with it I always felt that if I always cared about how I dress That folks would think I'm arrogant and chicks would lose interest But as it turns out, people start to notice you more You turn heads when you step and foot in them sneaker stores Like where you get them, can I get them, what's the biggest size left And chicks that never would have seen What's up everybody? It's Big Rob TV and I'm back with another video, alright? So, I just wanted to come and and discuss this. You know, all these all these sneakers, man, and I've copped a lot this year, which is 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 a is a it's a bit of a fail. It's a bit of a fail on my behalf because if you remember at the beginning of the year, I said I was trying to minimize it. All right, I was trying to cut down on the cops, but I still wound up copping a lot. Not as much as in previous years, but, well, maybe, I don't know. It, it, there was a few months that I didn't cop anything, but, man, I still wound up copping a lot more than I, you know, I planned to, and I wasn't able to get rid of a lot of shoes. I, I thought that was going to be the way to go, that I could get rid of a lot of them, right? But I wanted to talk about one particular shoe that, you know, just had a shock drop a few weeks ago and the official release is here on December 14th and we all know that that shoe is the Jordan 11 black and red or the bread colorway of the Jordan 11. I've never said this. I always talk about how the... Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny is the shoe that started my collection, but the Jordan 11 black and red, the bread 11s, that was supposed to be the shoe that started all of this. When my brother suggested me to get into shoes, he told me to go and get that 11. I went to Hibbit Sports right there in Midwest City, Oklahoma, I stood in line. I'd never stood in line before for a pair of shoes. I went, I stood in line, and I waited for a pair of shoes. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just there. It was a bunch of other people there. I was so confused because I had never seen something like that for a pair of shoes before. So I'm in line, and then the guy comes out and he says, hey, we're sold out of all sizes bigger than the 12. So I said, okay, well, I guess I can't get this shoe. And I left. I went home. The next week is when the Bugs Bunny 8s released. And that's when I copped those and, you know, the rest is history. But I have been circling this date for this Bread 11 all year because it's an 11. And not because... I, I, I'm, I'm torn right now on it. Like, do you really want this shoe, Roth? Is is this the shoe that you really want? Or are you just getting this shoe because it is the Holiday 11? And since I missed out on the Gamma 11s, which by far is my favorite Jordan 11, I missed out on it initially and had to go back and get it later on. But since then, I haven't missed the Holiday 11. I've, I've gotten all of them. So, right now I'm like, are you just getting this shoe because it's the annual Holiday 11? Or do you truly want this shoe? I've been trying to convince myself, I feel like, that I want this shoe. And, and another reason why I'm like, man, do you really have to have this particular 11? Is because of... This right here is this shoe, ultimately. It is the high top version of this shoe. And I know I have the Concord lows and I have the Concord highs, but for years up until this point, I have said I do not need the Jordan 11 the bread 11 highs. I've said that I, I don't I don't need the high top version of this. And now here we are a matter of weeks away and I'm like I think that will be a shoe that I have to purchase. I, I'm, I'm, 
I'm torn. I'm not sure what to do. And I also feel like the last shoe that I showed here, which was the Jordan 1 Mid Fearless, I felt like that would be the final purchase of the year for me as far as sneakers are concerned. But they just announced the LeBron 7 Christmas. And there's also a LeBron 17 win-win that is coming here next week. And I'm like, man, if I can only get one of these three shoes, the LeBron 7 Christmas, the LeBron 17 win-win, or the Jordan 11 black and red, I'm like, would I actually pick the Jordan 11 over those? Because I, I like LeBron's more as an entire shoe line. I like LeBron's more. So for me, I would lean towards the LeBron over the Jordan. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like at times that this is, is, is too much. This is too much and I would like to, you know, to get out of this and, and get on to other things like gaming and, you know, tech. I really, I really love tech. I'm really into to tech and gadgets and phones and tablets and computers and video games. I'm into those things. And I'm like, if I were to just, you know, kind of phase out of 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 sneakers and I know I'm I'm rambling and I'm I'm going all over the place. I feel like like if I, I ask myself if I just phased out of sneakers after the growth that this channel has 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 made over the last two years. I went from man I went from my first few years on this platform on, on YouTube of having man maybe a couple hundred subscribers maybe 50 maybe you know 150 maybe 200 so over the last two to three years i'm i'm over 2000 like and it's growing it's constantly growing like so it's, it, the success level is going up a little bit but i'm like is it because of sneakers or is it because of everything because I, I i review tech on this channel i i have a weekly wrestling show that I do here like what is the purpose of the growth for this channel is it, if it's all because of the, the the sneakers that you see here if I phased the sneakers out would the channel decline like that's something that I constantly think about because I I'm going to have to shut it down a little bit not not shut it down completely not to the point of never buying a pair of shoes again that's not gonna happen but I'm in the the process of I'll be moving next year and I will be returning back to some place in the United States so I'm gonna have to start saving some money and putting money away to prepare for coming back and um, I mean which I've already started doing I just thought that I would be able to sell some of this a lot easier but it's kind of hard to get rid of shoes when you wear a size 14. I guess that's not a very popular size. <laughs> but I just, I, I don't know. I, I know I'm everywhere in this video. And I don't even know if I'll post this video. But I'm, I'm just kind of like, is it time to move away from this? And maybe I could put the money that I put here into something else for this channel as far as you know maybe I could test out different devices if you all can see on my wrist this is the Galaxy Watch that I had previously and the last gadget review that I did was the Galaxy Watch Active and I said I'm switching I'm, I'm back to the regular Galaxy Watch these are things that I would like to talk about more and why I do these things but I don't know, I, I guess I'm, I don't want to say that I'm overdoing this, man. I'm not completely over sneakers. I love sneakers, man. I love these, I love, you know, the stories behind 
you know, these shoes that I get, certain memories behind certain shoes in here. Like, look at this. This is something you you all probably wouldn't think of, but look at this. When I see when I see this shoe right here, this Saucony, when I see this shoe, I think about Disneyland and how I took my my middle daughter, these Shadow 6000s, I took my middle daughter to Disneyland and uh, yeah, Disneyland for her fifth birthday. Uh, I wore these out there. We had a ball. My feet were comfortable all, all the time. So I think about memories behind certain shoes and you know, things like that. And I don't want to completely get out of it, you know. But walking in this room sometimes and seeing whoosh, wall of sneakers, man. <sighs> sometimes it's it's a bit overwhelming to walk in this room and and see this man like man there's so many shoes in here this is probably I think one of one of two pairs of shoes that my wife has that I have too that we we have the same pair this KD what is this KD7 Man, it's just, I mean, there's some good memories in here, man. Really good memories in this room. But I have a lot of other things that, you know, that I want to do with this channel. But I, I feel like if I completely switch to that, then the views are going to go away. The the subscribers are going to go away. Like, we're here to see sneakers. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm sorry. I, I'm rambling. I know you all probably tuned in for... For sneakers, man. But I'm lately. I've been thinking like maybe it's time to switch things up. And another thing is that I'm never the first one, especially these last three and a half, almost four years. I'm never the first one out. Usually, by the time I put a shoe out, a, a, a review out, it's been out for a long time. Now, every now and again, I get lucky. And it may not be a shoe that's on the big shoe tubers radars. And I might be one of the few to drop it first, such as this one here. This Jordan 5. You know, I was one of the first ones to drop a review on this. But when I did, nobody watched it. <laughs> like nobody watched that review, man. That's one of my my lower reviews so it's like give or take but I know for the reviews you know to to blow up and and I see it all the time you know with all the other guys that I watch it's, it's a big thing to be first I gotta, I gotta put my review out first I gotta be one of the first ones to do it so that the views can shoot up and then that's how the revenue comes in you get your paper you know that way but Man, I don't know if I can continue to do this, man. I really don't know if I can keep... This is a lot. This is a lot. And that brings me back to... Do I need the high top version of this shoe? Or... Can I just call it quits on Jordans for the year? I didn't say anything about the LeBrons, which I may not need to get those either, but can I call it quits on Jordan for the year? And would I be able to take it easy on shoes in general for the next year or so? This is a question I ask myself all the time. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll holla at y'all in the next video. Peace.